Bert! Ash! I'm glad we managed to meet up. Seriously, you guys look like you're ready to kick some ass. I take it the boys of Old Class 7 sent you on ahead as well, then. And now here we are. An enormous chasm a thousand arch below the Greyborn mountain range. The thick layer of rock has long concealed the Black Workshop from the world. There are three research facilities we can access from these passageways. Valley? Did some of your memories return? Yes. These basic memories were installed in me before I was dispatched. I remember Alberic, the Workshop Chief, and Milliam, who woke up before me. So this girl's my sister, huh? Sorry, I don't know if we'll remember this, but... When you get outside, let's make sure to meet up and play together, okay? I had already met Milliam long before the Civil War. Despite the fact her memories were erased by then, she still treated me as if we were really sisters. You know, that sounds like a true big sister to me. And like any good big sister, she kept her promise, looking after you until the very end. <laughs> All the more reason to bring her back. Right. Her, Valimar, and our instructor. Found you. Something precious. Can't lose it again. Instructor! Instructor! Instructor... He can't hear us. He's been consumed by the curse. The others warned us about this. That miasma looks all too familiar. Yeah, and he's got it way worse than I did. The curse is swallowing him whole. They called this being a sacrifice, yeah? What? The color is unmistakable. The curse of the Great One. The plague of Erebonia. I'll destroy... everything. <sighs> Kill them all. To take back... everything I've lost. This is far worse than with Ash. Stop this right now, Instructor Reen! You're trying to fix everything by yourself, just like always! Stop being so selfish and think about how Old Class 7 feels. How we feel! <sighs> you... stand in my way. You're damn right. I don't know how deep in shit you are, but we're gonna wade right in and pull you out. This ain't you. So hurry up and snap out of it. You're suffering all alone. Carrying a burden that no one person should ever try to bear. But you have us. Let us help you carry it. We Vanders pledge our swords to the defense of the innocent and the eradication of evil. And today, I will use everything you've taught me to fulfill that very pledge. Instructor Reen, I've come so far in such a short time. I'm an artificial being, but you and Milliam helped me find myself. And together with Yuna, Kurt, Muse, Ash, and the Class 7 that came before us, I swear to you, I swear that I will get you and Milliam safely out of this dark abyss. I will protect everyone, just as my sister did before me, and I'll start by saving you. Ready yourselves! 
Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this thing! We're giving you everything we've got! Destroy everything! <laughs> All right! Uh, my turn. Charging! Yeah. An opening! <laughs> it's down! Alistair! <laughs> Let's go! It's my turn! Arcus, activate! Yeah. Useless! There! It's mine! I shall go! Now, Rionac, activate. Fire! There! It's mine! <laughs> All right! <laughs> it's my turn! <laughs> Very well. It's down! Alistair! Yes! Arcus, activate! Uh. I shall go! Switch! I'm up! Very well. Strike! Yes! Huh? It's my turn! My turn. Chuck. There. They're mine. I got this. Yeah. I've got it. Here I go. Chuck. I'm going. Arcus, activate. Instructor Reen! You've got to come back to us! Nellium... Everyone... What... What have I done? Our Arcus unit's activated. It's like what happened when we linked with everyone. <laughs> Link up! 
everyone. Um. Who the hell are you? D does that really matter right now? His consciousness has been shattered into fragments. But if enough people who are close to him, like you guys and the others, just call out, you should be able to make him whole again. Uh, understood. All right, fine. One last ride on the damn occult train. We'll use our Arcus units to focus energy from all across Erebonia through the spirit veins. What is this? I sense him. It's Reen! Well, how about that? Wh why me too? Answer them, Reen Schwarzer. Why? I can't undo what I've done. That's what I was talking about! It's not just your burden to bear! You didn't do it on purpose, right? Something forced you into it. When you lost control, you took on all of our anger and sadness with your own. That's the power of the curse! The one that's been eating away at Arabonia! Sure, there are some things that can't be undone. But instead of dwelling on the past, we can all think of a way forward, together. I... don't... But to do that, we need our instructor back. First, remember who you are. Regain control of yourself. No matter what hold the curse may have on you. We all know you can overcome it. Yep. And we're not the only ones offering you our strength. Every connection you've ever made will be another feather in the wings that will set you free. Now, it's high time you return. We're waiting for you. All of us! That... That's right. How could I forget? All these people I cherish. <laughs> Looks like you'll be okay. Toa? 
police? Elfin? But how? I'm not really sure, but it seems like we're all linked somehow. I'm so relieved you're okay. We were so worried. Good luck, Green. All of you. Together, you can get through anything. Huh? How did they reach me? From so far away? Has a whole month really gone by? <laughs> sure has! And it's time to rise and shine, Sleepyhead! You found yourself in a similar situation two years ago. Curious how cyclical fate can be. from the past. As am I. My thought processing core has been lost. Nevertheless, I am here to pledge my aid to you once more. Oh! Me too! I want to help out! So you better make good use of me! I feel kind of bad for the holy beast, but if swinging me around will protect everyone, that's what you gotta do! such a mess. You sure are! But it's time for you to wake up! Remember who you are. Remember your bonds with your friends. That's right. I am the son of Baron Schwarzer and a disciple of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. I graduated from Thor's Military Academy and became an instructor at the Branch Campus. Together with my friends and students, I pledged to dispel the dark shadows hanging over Erebonia. I'm Reen Schwarzer of Class 7. long enough. <sighs> Are you really? Yeah. Doesn't look like my hair is going to change back. But other than that, I'm back. Yuna, Kurt, Altina, Ash, and Muse. Thank you, everyone. I... Instructor Reen. are always so emotional. Aww, those should be my arms wrapped around him. I think the little bunny earned this one. Let her have it. I'm already up to speed. Even while I was out of control, I could see everything that was happening. Thank you, everyone. Especially you, Celine. I didn't make things easy on you. Huh. Just remember you owe me big time. 
Oh, don't mention it. Wait, how the heck is that Celine? They certainly have the same voice, but... I guess this is the first time anyone's seen my human form. Oh, and here are the latecomers. Green! You're unharmed! May the goddess be praised. I feared the worst, but they really did it. Yep. Looks like we're in the clear for now. Celine, you did it! I'm so glad you're okay. I could say the same to you. How'd that happen? This whole crowd came out just to rescue you, Rain. Yeah. And I can't thank you all enough. Well, well. Someone's looking like his old self. After all that trouble he put us through, he better be. Crow really helped us save Reen. Thank you, both of you. I remember everything you did to help me. There's a whole lot you and I need to talk about, but it doesn't look like we have the time. <laughs> yeah, we've got company. And they're coming from all sides. You managed to come to your senses on your own. Impressive. Though you might have been happier without remembering who you really were. You may have returned from the brink, but your power has left its mark on you. I really empathize with you, you poor thing. <laughs> You've gone all in, kid. No going back now. You don't mean... Reen... That's right. I can't deny it. Fourteen years ago, Chancellor Osborne gave me his own heart. What? So this is what they discussed that night at the party. That act saved my life, but it came at a cost, just like Ash. I became a sacrifice. Or rather, the ultimate sacrifice. The one required to start the Great Twilight. No. The one chosen above all others by the curse itself. <sighs> Damn it, just what we were afraid of. That's exactly right. They're back! Gileath Osborne. <laughs> oh my, so many guests, and not one of them invited. Black Albrecht. Or should I call you Franz Reinford? Ah, huh, so you're here. Chairman Arena and Kruger were far too lenient. They should have kept better watch on you. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Chairman Arena? You never called her that! As I said before, I am no longer the man you once knew. You must understand, Ms. Reinford. Though our blood is shared, I am not your father. <sighs> Lisa. I admit, I am pleased that you have regained control of yourself. A crazed ogre would have ill-suited our purpose. What purpose? Does it have something to do with him being an Awakener? That'd be my guess. <laughs> Hold your head high, Duvali. You've made your decision. Now proudly walk the path you've chosen. My lord. Please, 
forgive me for what I'm about to say, but I cannot understand why you would choose to destroy the world with the Great Twilight. Until I'm able to understand, I would ask you to grant me leave from the Stall Ritter. Granted. Duvali, thank you for your devotion. Thank you, Lady Leanne. It would appear each of you have your own tales to see through. Now, my son, what say we engage in our own little story of regret and redemption? Oh, I'd love to. But not now. The rest of your cast are already making their way back here, aren't they? Governor General Rufus, his Ironbloods, the Jaeger King, and the Enforcers. What? Boss. Did you see them through the spirit veins? Yeah. Though it was only for a moment. Once they're all back, it may be too late. We have to get out of here while we can. Class 7, Valimar, and Milium too. <sighs> of course. We didn't exactly have a return trip planned out. Got any ideas? Getting Valimar back is the only chance we've got. His mind may be gone, but his Awakener can do the thinking for now. I suppose that's right. Then that's what we're gonna do! Ah! How desperately you cling to your thin strands of hope! All the more endearingly childish in the face of your clever little Duchess's plan! Oh dear, you wound me. Though I do believe you've yet to grasp the full extent of my little plan. Quite. An admirable feat indeed. Though Prince Oliver remains a formidable opponent, there's no doubt that you are a worthy second. Any idea what these two are going on about? <laughs> a lot must have happened while we were trapped here. Yes, we'll brief you once we make it out. The greater the hope, the more devastating the despair that follows. Now, shall we begin chipping away at your hope? Another puppet! That's the original combat shell! Zor Balor! Alright, let's do this! Can't wait to see what you got up your sleeve, blood and iron! <laughs> It can't be. <laughs> Presumptuous as ever, McBurn. But I will try to live up to your expectations. May I ask your hand in this dance, fair maiden? But of course. Though I imagine you cut an impressive enough figure on your own. Sword. It's different from the Blazing Demons, but... Then, is it like the sword Milliam turned into? Its creation was different, but the end result is similar. Only he who leads the gnomes is permitted to wield this blade. It is the legendary... Alberic. That's quite enough. Ah, pardon my loose tongue, Master. <laughs> Hey, Blood and Iron Chancellor. I was hoping for a chance to take you on before the rivalries kicked off, but I guess no dice. Oh? I thought you had your revenge when you blew that hole through my chest. <laughs> you're one twisted old man. Reen, you and your students get a hit in for me. With pleasure. You didn't even have to ask. All of our training has brought us this far. And this will be the ultimate test. We'll fight with everything we've got! Those two are the most important targets. Leave the rest to us. Hold nothing back! You can do this! I know you can! You too! May Adios be on your side.
Then let our dance begin. Ashen Chevalier, young lions of Thor's, it is time for you to show your worth. Oh, we'll show you all right, Granny. Whoa, no need to be so rude. Say that again and I'll have your head, punk! Focus and get ready, everyone. We'll optimize our formation around Instructor Reen. I'll handle covering fire arts and orders. Right. Thor's Military Academy Class 7, Special Operations. Engage! Yes, sir! sir. <laughs> this should be amusing. Now come, show us that you have what it takes. Not on my watch! I'm up! Ha! <laughs> Too easy! I'll save you! Thanks! Here I go! Arcus, activate! Not today! It's my turn! Get back! Now! My turn! Let's go! My turn. Switch. <laughs> Leave it to me. Arcus, activate. You won't escape. Let's go! It's my turn! Resonate! Divine Song Formation! Yeah! 
I'm going! Res I'm going! I'm up! Crimson Slash! <clears throat> now! I found you! My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Ha! Action slash! Shredded lead! <laughs> You're quite tenacious. Most impressive. This old man so strong. He's every bit as strong as the legendary Steel Maiden. Is it his hundred form military combat? No, it's more than that. The power of two knights of the Stalriter and the Blazing Demon combined is immense. Yes, and not to mention the Divergent Blade Angbar, and their Radiant Star Formation. <sighs> I knew I wouldn't have an easy time going against them. Your speed remains as impressive as ever, Duvali. It's not quite enough to break through our Radiant Star Formation, though. Gotta admit, I'm actually having a bit of fun here. But you could stand to turn up the heat, Crow! Come on! Get your Divine Knight out here! Yeah, sure. Because I take orders from you. So much for throwing numbers at the problem. Those two combat shells are more than we bargained for. Not to mention her. Seriously, mind cutting us a little slack? Do forgive me. I hate to have to break such a lovely lady's heart. I'm afraid you won't be outdoing us at this stage. And our reinforcements will soon be arriving. It seems we'll need to prepare a number of guest rooms for your very lengthy stay. 
Father! The finale draws near. Now, what will you do? You are still the Great Twilight's ultimate sacrifice. If you were to release its tremendous power sealed within you, you might even stand a chance at winning. Listen, asshole. No! You can't! Don't listen to this stupid old man! <sighs> oh? I assume this is no attempt at surrender. Not at all. Though it's unfortunate that I've been chosen by the curse, that's the very reason I'm able to see a way out of all this. <sighs> what are you... Gaius! Emma! They're here! Got it. Understood. Celine, I need your help. We're going to open a gate right over Gaius' stigma. Right! I'm on it! A one-way teleportation gateway? No. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> now that's clever. I recognize that voice. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The Azure Abyss. Vita Clotilde. <laughs> Perfect timing. I must admit, even I never considered the possibility. The Second Dominion's partitions. Why is it all the way up there? Clever. They're coming. Is that the Bobcat? Josette! She really made it! And that silver ship! The Liberal and Crossbell teams mentioned it. An airship exclusively for Dominion use. Merkaba Unit 8, a gift passed down from my master. Brandy? Just in time, Agate. And the General as well. Now you guys show up! Had to make sure our entrance was dramatic enough. Are you okay, Reen? I am now. Principal, Vita, we really owe you one. <laughs> well, we never could have pulled it off without Thomas. We will hold the enemy here. It's time to make your retreat. Yes, yes ma'am! Lend me a hand. On it. Haha! <clears throat> <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Wait! I'm coming with you! Ah, 
Alamar. You may not be able to respond to me, but I should still be able to pilot you. What the? <sighs> oh, right. I'm still in human form. Celine, I need your help. Okay. I'll manipulate the core mana. Even if Valimar's consciousness is gone, you should be able to sync with him. Just focus your mind. Right. I'm sorry, Valimar. I'm the reason you're like this. But if you can somehow hear me, lend me your strength. So that we might create a better tomorrow. Thank you, old friend. Now rise! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Thank goodness. He got Million back! <laughs> now there's a sight for sore eyes. We couldn't have done it without you. And as for everyone's soul dots... There! I'll help you teleport them over! Now we're talking! Quickly now, everyone! <sighs> uh, what fun it's been, General. I hope to see your skills improve even further. Alas, we have reached our pinnacle. But yours may well be of a far greater height. The Steel Maiden's Divine Knight! And the Chancellor's! <laughs> and your chances of escape keep getting slimmer. Zauber Soldat? This isn't looking good. Take cover behind the Divine Knight and Soldats! Though far from a solo effort, I must commend you for reclaiming your knight. But you can feel it, can't you? Your fate is no longer one you can escape. Yeah. I've felt it since the moment I became a sacrifice. Each and every Awakener has a path they must follow. An inescapable destiny. And any attempt to stray from that path warps fate even further. That's what you meant by the true story, isn't it, Vita? That's right. The very story whose ending I tried to change at the Infernal Castle. Via the ritual to restore the Great One, whose power had been divided among the Divine Knights. If I recall, that ritual was known as a rivalry, correct? Close. The rivalry of the Seven, to be more precise. A ritual that can only be performed while the world stands on the brink of destruction. Then, the Great Twilight was just setting the stage. So the ultimate purpose of that whole farce was to revive the Great One. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Though I wouldn't call it a farce. These rivalries are supposed to be one hell of a show. And I want to see them. No matter what it takes to make them happen. You're sick. At this point, we don't have the luxury of uncovering their motives. Agreed. With my brother in control of the Auric Knight, all of the preparations are complete. 
Yeah, and there's no going back now. Be that as it may, I choose to defy my fate. And I want to do so with all of you. Friends, comrades, and students alike. So that Milliam's sacrifice won't be in vain. And above all else, so that I never lose myself again. <sighs> Instructor... We're all with you! That's right. Even if it seems like all is lost. We're the ones who decide our fate, and no prophecy or evil scheme is going to stop us. If you wish to struggle against the inevitable, then so be it. The blood you shed shall only serve as further kindling for the rivalries. Merkaba Unit 2 has detected multiple hostiles, and they're closing in fast! We've got to get out of here, quick! Emma, Celine, Gaius, if you would. Of course! Everyone, focus your power! We'll teleport you all at once! May our winds take us from the darkest abyss to the sky's embrace. I have high expectations of you as well. After all, only true miracle workers could stop Operation Jormungand at this point. Hm. It seems you've anticipated a fair amount of our plan already. To make up for your loss of Instructor Reen and Milliam, allow me to grant you a small gift. Meal Mirage. That's the name of our operation. <laughs> A fine name indeed. I do believe I'd enjoy one final game with you, apart from the rivalries. Now's our chance! Get moving! I'll take point. Everyone follow me. We're right behind you. Uh, really starting to regret this heavy-ass soul dot. Is that sunlight? It is. Dawn must be breaking. Make ourselves scarce. Deploying optic field. Oh man, we missed all the fun. That looked like the Merkaba Unit 8. Man, they sure fixed that thing up quick. <sighs> A church ship? If the Septian Church wants to provoke the Empire, they've done quite a good job of it. <laughs> so they managed to outfox the Blood and Iron Chancellor, the Steel Maiden, and even Enforcer Number One? Though he had the Golden Rakshasa and multiple Dominion on his side. It certainly seems that Reen person is quite the lucky devil, doesn't it? <laughs> Ironic you should say that, considering the fate he's been given. And their troubles are only just beginning. Yep. All the main players are finally on the stage. Only a matter of time now until we kick open the gates of hell and set this world ablaze. Yes. The Divine Knights are assembled, and Jormungand stirs awake. This story's rushing headlong to its climax. Forgive me, my lady. Reen. Milliam. 
It's all come to this. Everything's come together for this moment. No matter how faint your hopes are. No matter how certain despair is. This is your final challenge, Reen. Will you and Class 7 rise to meet it?